Adventures through inner space led guests in vehicles called atommobiles, venturing through a microscope to be shrunk down to the size of a molecule. Following this, they would explore the details that are the chemical makeup of a snowflake. As the new attraction was to replace Monsanto's Hall of Chemistry, also it would need to have features, the guests. an accurate take on science while with the help of Monsanto's scientists. Ex Atencio was able to write a script that would sufficiently guide guests through the mighty microscope, borrowed from the Adventures in Space exhibit. The one who came up with the concept art for the microscope was George McGuinness. He wanted the guests to witness the shrinking while waiting in line. Therefore, in his art, he drew the microscope with a clear front displaying the shrinking atommobiles. Claude Coates worked on the projection art. Unlike other attractions, this one hardly has any set. After entering the microscope, it was mostly his projections of snowflakes and zooming electrons that caught the attention of guests. These projections and at times complete darkness, allowed guests to get a little spooked, letting their imaginations run wild with ideas of what it was like to get really small. Disney Imagineer Alan Coates, son of Disney legend and Imagineer Claude Coates, explains his dad's vast contributions. It was very, uh, very unique show, very unique and very much missed. Dad designed the sets. Now there weren't a lot of sets because it was dark and there were a lot of effects and, and lighting and mood and, and the, the sets weren't, uh, at first you saw big pieces that looked like parts of atomic elements or, or molecular elements, but there weren't really a lot of sets. It was more uh, projection and uh, lighting and illusions and special effects. So the sets weren't really that spectacular, unlike the Pirates of the Caribbean, which was an incredible uh, construction of sets.